Hi, in this video we are going to introduce functions and parameters. So I want to start off this video by saying that this is the most important video so far. So everything we're going to do for the rest of the course really depends on a good understanding of functions and parameters and this is just a really crucial topic so make sure to pay very close attention here. So we can make our code easier to understand by breaking it down into functions. That was something that we did earlier on in Carol. We can also avoid writing repeated code by using functions. If there's something we want to do over and over again, we write a function, and then uh, if we want to do it multiple times, we call the function. So the problem we're going to look at now is the problem of doubling a number. So um, if we look at this code here, I write var x is equal to 5. So I've declared a, a variable x and it has the value 5. Now I write var doubled x equals 2 times x. So in uh, doubled x, I'm storing twice the value of x. And then I'm printing out uh, that value. Then below, I'm saying var y is 8. And then doubled y is equal to 2 times y. And I'll print that one out. So the question here is, do you see the similarities in these lines of code? So I've highlighted uh, the portions that are similar, and I'm doing the same thing over and over again. I'm, uh, I'm taking some variable, and I'm multiplying it by 2, and I'm printing it out. And so we want to avoid repeated code. So remembering back to functions, when we did functions in Carol, it was like teaching the dog a new word. Now when we create functions, we want to do one specific thing. So that specific thing now for us is doubling a number. And the metaphor that I'm going to use repeatedly for functions is like this box. And something goes into the box, something comes out. So what's going to go in is the number 5. 5 is going in, and then we want 10 to come out because we have 5, and then we're going to double that number, and we're going to get 10. So similarly, if we gave 8, uh, went into this function, we want 16 to be printed out. Or if we had something general, like some variable x come in, we'd want 2x to be printed out. And so what's over here on the left side, uh, 5 and 8 and x, those are the parameters. So the parameters are the inputs to a function. So you might call them parameters, some people might call them arguments, some people might call them inputs. I'll generally call them parameters, but parameters are what goes in to a function. So now we're going to define this function double number. So similarly to Carol, we write function double number, but then this is the new part. We write parentheses and then x and then close parentheses. Um, and then within the function we write doubled x is equal to 2 times x and we'll print out x. So x here is the name of the parameter, the name of the input to this function. We can call it anything we want. Uh, I've decided here to call it x. Then when we call that function, we write uh, double number and pass it in some variable or some number, so num. I'll show a few examples here. Um, let's say we have a variable y that's equal to 11, and then y is getting passed into the double uh, number function. And then we can call double number on the value 4, or you know, below at the bottom we call double number on 4,234. So at this point we'll go into our code editor and, and continue to play around with this. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the double number function again. So function double number, and the parameter that it takes is x. So I'll write var double x equals 2 times x. Now um, double x has twice the value as x. Now I'm going to print line double x. Okay, so if I run this program, right, nothing is going to happen. Nothing is in the start function. But I can put something in the start function, and so the first thing I'll do is make a call to this function. I'll write double number, and I'll pass it in the value 5. So if I run this, 10 gets printed out. So what's exactly going on? What we call double number, 5 is passed in as the parameter. And so we call this function, but when we get here, when we get here and we execute this code, 5 now takes on the new name x. Right. So let's look at another example. 
I can call double number with 12. So first I'll print out 10 and then I'll print out 24. I, I don't have to just put a number here, I could put a variable. So if I say var um, y equals 3, I type double number y, right? I'll get 6 because y has the value 3, y is getting passed in to this function, and then um, we double the number 3. So a double number is a general formula to double any number, and when we do that, we give it the name x. Uh, and we'll talk more about this, but this is our first introduction into functions and parameters.